Chito Fajadang is here for another quick episode of Post-Production Chop Shop. In this episode, I'll go over settings for DaVinci Resolve and Anamorphic. It's a simple process and you'll get it going in just a few minutes. First off, start Resolve, go into your project and import the footage to the media pool. Now, go to File, Project Settings. Here, we'll change the timeline resolution. The numbers will vary according to your wish. I wanted a 2.66 to 1 aspect ratio. You can choose whichever aspect ratio you desire and the math works like this. Width over aspect ratio equals height. For me, the width is 1920. So 1920 over 2.66 equals to 720. If it were 2.4 to 1, uh, 1920 divided by 2.4 equals to 800. The same applies to every resolution. I might make a calculator for that, if you help me out on Patreon. Mm. I prefer reducing the height rather than extending the width in order not to push resolution too far. A 1920 by 720 frame will hold much more detail than a 2872 by 1080. But that is my personal preference and you can do whatever you want. Just reverse the math. Height times aspect ratio equals width. Watch that I haven't mentioned my lens stretch factor just yet. I was shooting on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera, which is 16x9, and using 4x3 guides for framing, so I have all the information on the sides, but that will be discarded on the final project. Now that we set our timeline resolution, throw in the footage onto a timeline. Resolve, Resolve is smart and helps out by rescaling the clips a bit. Even though our timeline is 720 pixels tall and our footage is taller than that, Resolve doesn't crop the top and bottom of the image. This can be adjusted by selecting any clip in the timeline, going into the inspector, and then to retime and scaling. There you can set different presets. I would stick to fit, and that is the default setting because it keeps the entire height of the image. So on a side note, if you're shooting spherical and trying to get a wide aspect ratio, set your size and change retime and scaling to fill. That will crop the top and bottom of the, your non-anamorphic footage into the set aspect ratio. After dragging all the clips to the timeline, go into the inspector and in the transform section, zoom parameter, disable the chain link between X and Y. Now change X to your lens's stretch factor. For me, it's two times, but for you, it could be anything. That leads to one, the image's correct aspect. Two, the sides are cropped out of my composition. That is exactly what I wanted. The advantage of cropping the sides is that this gives you a lot of room for reframing and post by sliding the image left or right according to your needs. If your entire workflow is through Resolve, you can now edit, color, and export. The final render will have the resolution set in the beginning. That's it for this week. If this video was useful to you, hit the like button and subscribe for more anamorphic related content. And if you want to support my work even more, join us over on Patreon and unlock exclusive rewards. I'm Chutuf Hedungs and I'll see you next week.